Hey guys, and welcome to my next reaction to Supernatural. So, in the last episode, there was just a lot dredged up. I'm very, very worried. Um, well, I'm always worried for both of the brothers' mental states, let's be clear. I'm very worried about Dean's. I just feel like I don't, I don't know. We di it didn't end on a great note. I and, and Cass as well. Like, it just... It's, I just feel like everything's just gonna keep getting worse and worse and I'm not emotionally prepared for it. So let's just rip off this band-aid and get right into it. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm amazing. What is going on? Okay. Oh jeez. Every day. Yeah, I mean, well, that they certainly know how to start an episode. Look at that. Holy moly. Buckle up. Oh my god! Sorry, I just realized. You... I think, I think, I'm gonna get confirmation when the name scroll. I was like, hi, well, I, I know that voice. Oh my god! <laughs> Great name for the episode. There he is. I don't to charge my phone's off. The name. Oh my goodness. Wow. Listen, they have a whole setup. Winning. Seriously. We've had eight so far this week. What? Oh. So, Rob tells me you boys hunt demons. Yeah, huh? Is that a 12 year old packing salt rounds? Everybody pitches in. So, the whole church? The whole town. The whole the town. town it's Sam and Dean Winchester. They're safe. Uh, okay. I know all about them. Okay. From the angels. Oh, no. Angels. No. No. Don't worry. No. I'll see you here. No. I don't want to deal with it. It's on your ribs, right? You get a really bad migraine. You see flashing lights. How do you know? Because you're not the first prophet we've met. But you are the cutest. Uh. Right in front of Dad. With total respect, of course. Yeah. Okay. the voicemail I don't understand. Why, why do you want me to say my name? Well. So, uh, what's your theory? Why are the demons? Don't the good old prophet, maybe? Just these angels are sending these people to do their dirty work. Yeah, and? See, I mean... And they can give it to shreds. We're all gonna die, so you in like a month. Okay. Maybe two. Wow. It. Positive it's thinking. The end of the world. Uh huh? Whatever happened, I was saving them. Oh. Dean's 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 a bit checked out. He's a bit over it. He's he's going through something. You in know I have a lot of thoughts about the road. angels and okay. That was pretty efficient. I guess that's what it's like, huh? What? Having backup. Huh? <laughs> Dean, Sam. Is that, is that cool if I get right back to you guys? You ordered it. Don't tell your mom. Oh, believe me. I will not. Oh. What's gonna happen? Something's gonna happen. They all drove off. <laughs> what? See? See? What? That was just, like, lurking under the car? Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, wait. 
But what I do know is... Is that tight? Okay, this is, oh boy, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. The angels have chosen us, and we will be given paradise on earth. Uh-huh. All we have to do is follow the angels' commandments. Uh-huh. This sounds like bullshit. Yeah, it's outlawed 90% of your personality. Sorry. Well, whatever. Well, look, man, I'm not a prophet. We're not locals. It's not my call. Ah. Uh. I'll catch up with you. He just, oh, it's breaking my heart because he just doesn't, he does, he's got, um, it's a bad time. It's very apathetic towards everything. It breaks my heart. Now's okay. I was searching for the right word. <laughs> I want to know what the angels are telling you. Well. And you can skip the rainbows. There's going to be a prize fight and it's going to get bad. But after we win, the planet gets handed over to the Chosen, and it's finally peaceful. Okay, but like, I have questions. Who's Chosen? Who who's decides who's Chosen? Well, Dean, you're Chosen. More like cursed. Must be hard, being the vessel of heaven and having no hope. Okay. All right. A couple of months back, they're all in here, getting wasted, banging the nanny. Now they're all warriors of God. Cheers. Cheers. Uh-huh. Well, I guess the apocalypse oh, does look. that to you. Never prayed before, and I ain't starting now. If I go to hell, I'm going honest. Hmm. Huh. you? I... I kind of appreciate I that. <laughs> I'm a true believer, I take it. I believe. Ooh, yeah. It's complicated. You hear they shut down the cell towers? No. Yeah. That's, uh, news to me. Yeah, no cable, internet, total cut off from the corruption of the outside world. Ooh, huh. yeah, this is starting to sound very not good. And all you got is, uh, hmm? Yeah, he, oh, he's going, with the, he's going through it. Okay, 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 okay. At what point does this become too far for you? Who exactly is supposed to come along and save these people? It was supposed to be us. We can't do it. Oh, so my what, goodness, you wanna, Dean. You want to just stop fighting, roll over? I don't know. Can't do this. Actually, I can. No, you can't. You can't do this to me. Oh. Daddy, can I talk to you for a second? Oh my God. Yes. Oh no, 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 no. She looks like she's been. Joe, she's crying. She's yeah, crying. What is it? He said they gave clear commandments, but some people aren't listening. Ooh, Leah. Got your message. Oh. Hey, spooky. Find the sound. Are you? Drunk? He's drunk. Are you? No. Nope. Nope. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. What the hell happened? To you? This girl, Leah Gideon. She's not a prophet. I'm pretty sure she is. That uh, Vision's headaches, the whole package. The names of all the prophets, they're seared into my brain. Leah Gideon is not one of them. Hmm. I trust what he says. And what is she? Even though he's drunk. Are they just gonna go attack whoever is not obeying the command? This is crazy. This is crazy. Oh my god, no, oh, the guy that I kinda like. I don't know, maybe. I don't know much about him. Grew up together. I stood up at your wedding. Yes, you did, but that was then. And now you're standing against the flock. Okay. I fight with you. This is my home. You want me out of here? No, I don't know. Let's drag me out. No cra- you don't want the crazy mob oh, to do anything. Do oh! <gasps> no one's gonna stop me from seeing my son again. Okay, you're- okay, 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 okay. He's dead. It's fucking crazy. Oh my god. Everything's crazy, right? Like, I- okay. Paul's dead. What? Jane shot him. It's starting. What's starting? Where the hell have you been? On a bender. Oh, did you say on a bender? <laughs> he said that so matter of fact. It's not of import. Well, what is she exactly? The whore. Wow. Okay. Really Whoa. She rises when Lucifer walks the earth. Really? That's probably killed months ago. 
We've got the demons attacking the town. Leah is up to demons shenanigans! Fake. So the demon's smoking out, that's just a con? Why? What's the end game? Innocent blood spilled in God's name. You heard all that heaven talk? She manipulates people. To slaughter and kill and sing peppy little hymns. Did I make it worse? Did I make the angels angry? Jane, the angels, they understand. Yes. Huh? Uh huh? You saved us. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna be okay. But how can the angels... You always taught me we have to have faith. Oh, Pops is not down no, with it. Okay. Oh my god. It's a stake made for us. The whore can only be killed by a true servant of heaven. Servant might not you. Sam, of course, is an abomination. Got to go. We'll have to find someone else. Oh, with this sad face, Sam. The angels. <laughs> the angels said we're not ready. There are still a few elements that need to be taken care of. Sinners. I've been given instructions, names. Wait. Stop it. Names. Killed. Here we go. The next sinner I name will be you. Goodness, she's bold. She's bold. Give her that. She's bold. Okay. Okay. She's just gonna have everybody kill everybody. That's fun. Pastor David Gideon. Yeah, who are you? An angel of the Lord. Yeah, sure. What the hell was that? Yeah, he wasn't lying about the angel thing. Oh, how are we gonna break this no. to him? <clears throat> okay. She's my daughter. We I'm skipped sorry. that part. She's not. Heads up. How many should I take? You? She's probably just down the whole bottle. <laughs> I was gonna say. A big expert on deadbeat dads. So. Oh! You're wrong! Get the kerosene. What? This is crazy. <laughs> Come on, Daniel. <laughs> I know his name is not Daniel, but, but like, is somebody gonna look at this bitch like she's evil? <coughs> Maybe a little bit. Look at her little smirk. Evil smirk. Oh, wow. Okay, well that, <laughs> that too. <laughs> Oh my god! This is oh god, oh god. Crazy. Please, like you're a servant of heaven. You're the great vessel. You pathetic, self-hating, and faithless. It's the end of the world. And you're just gonna sit back and watch it happen. Don't be so sure. Or how are we supposed to get to paradise now? Uh, okay. Sorry. Pretty sure you're headed in a different direction. Mm. Gotcha. Probably shouldn't have killed Paul. Did you do that? What? Kill that's, her. That's my question. That's a little held out, I guess. How's that? Dean! Oh, what is going on? What is... Okay. Okay, Dean. Dean. Dean, 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 Dean. Dean. I didn't have your number. Oh, so. just drove. Just drove. I'm just surprised. Hey, I know the life that I live. I know how that's gonna end for me. Oh, jeez. I'm okay with that. But when I do picture myself happy, it's with you. And the kid. Come inside, let me get you a beer. I wish I could. Take care of yourself, please. Okay. No, wait, wait. You can't just drop a bombshell like that and then leave. Things are about to get really bad. Like you're kind of bad? Worse. Next few days of crap you're gonna see on your TV is gonna be downright trippy. 
But I don't want you to worry because I'm making arrangements for you and Ben. Arrangements? Whatever happens, you're gonna be okay. The people that I'm gonna see next, they're not gonna get anything from me without agreeing to a few conditions. <gasps> just, just come inside. Damn. Please. Whatever you're thinking of doing, don't do it. I have to. Okay. I don't, okay. Oh, Dean, Dean, Dean. Okay. Well, wasn't that just so uplifting? Just so, just so uplifting. Um, I'll, I'll get to everything going on with Dean in a moment. Um, I gotta say, it's, it's, it's so hard to see both, both him and uh, and, and Cass in, in, in a lot of levels, or, or in a lot of ways, um, just being so down about everything and negative, apathetic. Um, the one thing that I wanted to say, I loved the, how they started this episode with, uh, we've got a whole bunch of demon hunters. That hose for the, the holy water was crazy and a big group. You know, I've been kind of wondering, and we don't have, we have some episodes left before the, the end of the season. I can't believe I'm getting so close to it. I really, I, it feels like a, a whirlwind. Um, but, you know, um, I was wondering if at all we were going to have like a point where we're, there was going to be like some big battle where a bunch of hunters actually like banded together. I mean, this is like, it's the apocalypse. It's, it, it's the whole shebang, right? I understand that a lot of hunters don't really like Dean and Sam right now, specifically Sam. Like, like I get it. I get it. It's not like, you know, I get it. But, you know, I was wondering if at some point, like, we're going to get something like that. Um, and we didn't really get that in this episode but it was interesting to see like such a big group of like people hunting demons and you know whatever as soon as we started hearing uh leah the, to her saying that it, it, she gets these visions and the prophets and from the angels i like i was already like oh, i'm not in the mood i'm not in the mood i know that i'm watching supernatural today so you know maybe i should have been in the mood for some angel fuckery because of course that's that's a good portion of the of this season, last season, angel fuckery, angel fuckery. And it was a great misdirect in my opinion, because I was just like, oh, these are the angels just being so fucking like the angels being the angels, whatever. Where's Zachariah? You know, like that's basically the vibe, you know? And then, and then to, to kind of, I mean, it, it's so funny because that I was really going with that, um, that path. I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. It's the angels. Got it. Mm -hmm. And then when they're like, no, it's, it's the other side. <laughs> you know, there's two sides here. And, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, you know, uh, and she was convincing. She was, conv I, I felt her like, you know, with the first bit of the episode that maybe she was just a little bit naive or whatever, you know, and then, man, when she turned it on, she turned it on. She had that evil grin down real good. Um, I think the actress did an amazing job. Um, love seeing Michael, who is Daniel, on Stargate. He did not have, like, the best role, I guess. Well, I mean, it, it was a decent role. I'm just saying, like, you know, he wasn't the best guy, um, I guess. Um... And it was interesting, it was interesting, you know, thinking about, uh, uh, towns, very religious towns and, and wanting to believe and, and, you know, obviously having a, I believe a, a decent, uh, father, Father Gideon, I want to say, her father's, or, um, name, uh, <clears throat> I, I liked that we kind of saw a bit of, of, um, I like that not everybody was kind of blindly following this whole situation. Like he definitely was skeptical. Um, but 
you know, having it, it seemed like he was a good guy. So having that to be the front, forefront of your church and having a very religious town, it, it's probably a, a decent place to try to uh, pull this off. You know what I mean? Um, so I love the whole plot of it all. I thought it was really interesting um, and a, a great episode in that regard. Focusing a little bit on Dean, because I want to do that, um, in, I, I totally get, um, Sam's frustration. I want to say that as well. I get why he's just like, okay, we're gonna, we need to save the world. We cannot, we're not checking out right now. We cannot check out, like, please, or whatever. You know, like, I get his, um, his frustration, because Sam's coming from a very different place than, than, Dean is, you know, Sam really, really is kind of, um, tunnel visioning, I, maybe that's not the best word, but like, he's very focused, right, on we need to stop this, we need to, um, he feels a lot of guilt, he feels like a lot of, of, you know, there's a, there's a lot going on with Sam that makes him pretty determined, right, but then we have, uh, Dean here, which I actually kind of liked that they're doing this. I hope it doesn't last that long, <laughs> but I hope he gets his, uh, fight mojo a little bit, a little spark back. Um, but it's, it seems in, to me completely understandable how Dean has sort of gotten to this point where, you know, there's a lot of, um, he's been taking hits, big hits. Um, he's been taking the hits of one biggest hit, probably. Well, eh, it, big hit. Say big hit. Uh, going to hell. <laughs> Not fun. Okay. Trauma. They, they, they need to keep reminding everybody he has significant trauma that he has never been able to healthily deal with. And I know that people like make jokes about me continuously saying like, oh, they need to go to therapy or whatever. And yeah, sure. Like maybe Dean's not the type of person who's going to sit and talk to a therapist or whatever. However, I do think that he has, he has not dealt with the trauma that because he had to kind of like just go right into action as soon as he came back, there was no, you know, so I, I want to say that then everything happening with Sam and him feeling a betrayal and him losing trust. Now, I do believe that they have been trying to work on this trust between the two over this season. And I do think that it was actually making quite a bit of um, progress. And uh, the, uh, I don't want to say this. I think that this was really the final straw because we already saw that he was getting a little bit um apathetic him not necessarily uh indulging and in, you know the the whole um famine episode where people were talking about what they crave and he really didn't have anything he's kind of he's a bit empty when it comes to that he's he's starting to lose faith he's starting to lose um and i don't mean faith faith and, you know, um, I, I, I mean, just faith in, in maybe the people around him, faith in himself, I think is, is kind of a big thing as well. Um, you know, I think he, <clears throat> he just keeps seeing like the angels or whatever it is when or fuck with them and get away with it. And, you know, even when there's like a, an angel that, that wants to stand up for what's right, you see what, you know, the cast is, is struggling as well, you know? And to hear in the last episode that God, God, God is seeing this and he just doesn't, he doesn't really care. That's not exactly what Joshua said, but, but it, it, the, the gist, right? And to just over and over again. It's just like,
at some point, I mean, I don't blame him at some point. I would have felt that way, I think, a while ago. And um, the in the last episode, you know, and I'm sure that I actually haven't posted this reaction yet for the, the last episode, so I have no idea what people's responses are. I'm sure there's a lot of arguing that's going to happen. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe you guys will surprise me. Um, but, uh, you know, whether the, the angels altered what Sam saw or what, all of that, I don't want to like dive into that all again. But from Dean's perspective, to kind of, let's talk about his mental state right now, he, he you know, sees family saying as everything as everything and to see it not be entirely reciprocated probably just really I mean I think that that and just everything that I feel like that transpired in the last episode really kind of just kind of tore him down a little bit and man there's nothing worse than seeing somebody kind of just not really caring about stuff because if somebody te technically you know if somebody's angry about something somebody has that fire in them they still care they're angry but you know what I mean and to see somebody just be like well we're all gonna die we're just all gonna die let's just accept it come on we're all gonna die and it's really really sad to see so I just wanted to um it, it's breaking my heart. I hope we have, um, in the next couple of episodes, hopefully, something where we kind of see him deal with it a little bit. I know, like, dealing with these things are, is not typically what uh, Dean likes to do. He likes to push things down. He likes to just shove them down. But I, I, I do think that it... I as terrible as it is to watch, and I don't like seeing Dean like this, I I do like that they're actually exploring what this can do. Um, and, you know, at the beginning of the season, I, I forget what reaction or whatever, but, you know, I kind of mentioned, like, it's always possible that they're going to say yes to being these vessels. There's, something can always happen. We don't, I may not think in that moment, whatever episode I said it in, that they would say yes then, but maybe at some point they would. And, you know, I just think that uh, if the next episode's going to deal with that, that's going to be, it's going to be tense for me. It's going to be tense. Um, I hope that... Um, I want, I want Dean to get the fight again. I do. I do. I feel like probably most people watching feel that way, you know? Um, but I guess the point I'm making is I don't really blame him for feeling like he's just lost the hope and, and everything. It's just at some point you keep getting kicked down, right? And at some point you're just tired. I need it to and you're like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? You know, I, I think that they're I don't know. But I think you know for the record, I think he can do something. I think Sam can do something. I think Cass can do something. And I think Bobby can do something. We just want to check in on Bobby. You know, it's been a couple episodes since this is like really not great episode for Bobby. And I would just, you know, can we, we just check in, make sure he's okay. Can we do that? I would just, I don't mean to focus on, you know, you guys know I feel about Bobby. You guys know. Just to check in. Everybody's dealing with their own shit. I know, I know. Just, just a phone call on screen would be great. How you doing? He's probably gonna be like, not good. But at least, I don't know, be nice to, to hear it. I don't know. Ugh. Anyway. Um, we have only a few episodes left in the season. I'm very, very excited to get into 
Uh, the last little bit, I'm sure it is going to rip my heart out and you guys are going to be watching me cry um, at some point, right? In these last few episodes, I, I assume. I assume. Anyway, um, I really liked this episode. I thought it was really, really interesting. It was definitely a, like, a little bit of a downer, but I think it was, you know, like, meaning it was meant to be a downer. And to, I really liked how they actually put a spotlight on Dean's, I don't know how else to put it, but but apathy towards everything. Um, and then I'm, I'm very interested to see where he's going to go next and make a deal. I, it makes me very nervous, by the way, but I'm, but I'm interested to see it. Okay. Um, I think that's about it. If you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. But if not, I'm just happy that you are here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.